Week 26 of the USL League One season wraps up from Fresno, California as Central Valley Fuego takes on Lexington Sporting Club tonight. The third meeting of the season between the two sides. One win for Fuego, one win for Lexington. We'll see if either side can win the season series this evening. Can check out the standings entering into today's matchup. At the bottom of the table, Fuego just 19 points from 25 matches played. Lexington, nine points off the playoff line where Greenville sit in sixth place. An outside shot, and if they're going to try and make a late playoff push, three points today would be the biggest bounce they could get to try and push them up the table in the positive direction. Look some players to watch entering into this one. First off, for the hosts, Alexi Cerritos, pair of goals in his last two games, seven goals leading the team in that mark. Been an up and down year for them goal scoring wise. From the spot though, he has been a consistent figure up front as they try and continue and just progress things. Now under Edison Gonzalez, their third manager of the year, looking for the full time man. Cerritos providing the individual quality that can win you matches. We'll see what he can do in today's matchup against Lexington on the flip side, defensively and attacking. Tate Robertson will be the man to look out for for them. Four goals, seven assists, and that seven assists, good for third in the league. An immensely impressive creator. Been moved all over the pitch by Sam Stockley. Played as a left back, a right back, a left mid, a right mid. Very capable in the wide areas. Can deliver balls in from a dead ball situations like the best of them. Can score them as well himself. He's got a special game winning quality certainly in Tate Robertson's shoes. Quality players for both of these teams. Again, the third meeting between them this season should be an interesting one from Fresno, California. We'll see what the lineups look like. Some small tweaks for each coach. On the other side of this break, we got your lineups, and then we'll have kickoff between Central Valley Fuego and Lexington SC to round out the week in USL League One. Roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's left what? <laughs> Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What? <laughs> Be honest most of us aren't going to be professional athletes but if your goal is to finish your degree we can help come to a university that puts your goals first Bellevue University your partner in finishing goals taking the pitch at Fresno State Soccer Stadium in Fresno, California. It's Fuego taking on Lexington SC this evening to round out week 26 in USL League One. The third meeting this season between the two sides. We can look at some of the big goals in the previous two meetings. July 15th, the first ever meeting between these two sides. There was actually a red card early in the match for Fuego. Did not stop Maximus Eck from opening the score in the 48th minute. They would then ensuingly get a second one coming from Chavez, making that one a 2-1 to -one win the first meeting. Second time in Lexington. This would go the way of Lexington. They'd win this one three goals to two, a pair of goals within eight minutes, a brilliant first of the season for Victor Falk. The insurance goal, though, from Don Smart from the spot, the man on the spot, and Sam Stockley to celebrate. 
We're going to the lineups now for the third meeting for these sides. Now for Edison Gonzalez is Central Valley Fuego tied, playing a 4-4-2 formation. Sharif J, Harold Hansen, Villian Bijev, the players entering into the 11. A similar look as they kind of tweak things getting towards the back end of this season. We'll see how exactly they break out based on those small tweaks. Victor Falk, though, got his first of the season in that match against Lexington. It was a brilliant strike with that left foot from outside the box. We'll see what side of the midfield he plays on. He'll be a man to watch. For Fuego, to say the least. On the flip side for Lexington, under the tutelage of Sam Stockley in their first season, also a similar formation, a 4-4-2, very flexible with players like Tate Robertson in there. They brought Khalid Balogun as well as Tariq Muhammad into the 11. Muhammad, an interesting guy at left back, allows Robertson to shift up a bit and have him in a bit more of a creative and further attacking position. Don Smart, as always, an option in the middle of the park and a test to you. 10 goals on the year, leads the team with that mark. They'll try and support Balogun and Brown in the attack as Lexington try and get some points on the road where they have struggled all season long. That is the Lexington 11. Those are the 11s for this match. We can look now at some live scenes from Fresno. The players on the field you can see in the red kits will be our hosts today. Central Valley Fuego and the Greens, the visitors from Lexington, Lexington Sporting Club. Waiting for the whistle from Corbin May, our head official. We'll get it. And from right to left, the host will be getting us going. Early knockdown. Jay has it knocked away from him. Cleared forward by Lexington. Balogun putting his body into it. At six foot four, he's a very physical, forward thinking presence. We'll see how he squares off with the center backs for Central Valley Fuego. When you have two sides who on paper enter the match in a similar formation, it can lead to a lot of individual matchups. Robertson winning that, passing it forward for Brown. Flag goes up though, and an early offside that Nico Brown was one on one. It didn't go up, but almost too good to be true for Lexington, and it was indeed offsides given and a free kick for Fuego. You see the records in the top left of your screen. A season of ups and downs for both of these sides. Fuego changing head coaches twice now this year, now under Edison Gonzalez trying to put the long-term framework of the club under themselves, looking for their new long-term man to lead them as the head coach. Adam Smith moving back into his sporting director role. This one over the top, probing pass. Bijev to chase, Knight to collect. Amal Knight, his first touches for the keeper. Two wins. Two defeats and a draw in their last five for Lexington as Knight probes one forward. Flicked on. Been a struggle recently. Six or eight without a win, I should say. Three defeats, two draws in the last five for Central Valley Fuego. As both teams trying to get back in the right end of things. Lexington falling to defeat at Northern Colorado last time out. Went down three goals to nil. Pulling two back to make it a more respectable three to two defeat. But obviously the points in the end heading the way of the Hailstorm who have continued to march themselves back at the table. Knight going long. Jay. It's popped away, but it'll sit up again for a Fuego player. Pass back to keeper Mitch North, making his 23rd start in between the sticks for Central Valley. Pass clipped forward by Hansen. Knocked out. Throw higher up the pitch. Trying to figure out exactly how this 11 will break out for Central Valley Fuego. Looks like Harold Hansen playing in a more advanced spot. Tossed into the box. Falk brings it down. Has two in the area. Passes out to the right-hand side. Cerritos spotlighted him in the open. Seven goals on the season. Hansen trying to carry it forward. It's probed away. 
Low pass, dangerous. Bijev onto the right, some space low off the post. A great chance, and inches away from opening it early here for Fuego. Villian Bijev just off. He fights for it. He wins the loose one. His pass a bit under hit, and Robertson can put a foot through it and clear away the immediate threat for Lexington. Man, that was a really nice drop of the shoulder. Getting on the right foot. Not much Knight could have done about that if that was put on target by BJ, who just shaped it very well. Lexington, though, they can break and try and cause something. Brown has Balagoon, his forward teammate. He going toward the byline. Low, saved by North. Got low to get in front of it. Quickly rolled out. Cerritos. Jay leaves it cleverly. Lemus on the overlap. Tate Robertson. We'll show you that BJF chance when we get the opportunity again as he rattled the post. Smart trying one forward, intercepted, puts a foot in. And tackles it forward. Carrera Garcia can play one low. Or Zach Cromwell goes down under the challenge. Foul committed. We can now with a pause here, we can get the opportunity to see it again. Carrera Garcia does a really clever low pass to BJF. Gets it onto the right foot. And that's a really, really close opportunity. Almost at the back of Amal Knight as well. Could have seen an own goal action there. The best opportunity of the match heading the way of the hosts early on. They were just off there. Turning is Jay. Tackle put in. Testiuf was carrying it forward, making an appeal for a yellow card, and then the referee may want to have a quick chat with Harold Hansen. Selects the official match ball supplier of the USL League One and many elite leagues throughout Europe. Visit www.us.select-sport.com for the latest select products, specials, and more. Select the player's choice. Owen Green, play one low. Brown turns. Diouf. Mane, smart, under some pressure, Cerritos put a challenge in. Arrow towards the box, knocked away on the first try. A test to you, a few green shirts around him. Nice interplay at the byline. The low pass, might it sit up? Mane gets under it. Hands on his head. It was a solid chance from the top of the box. Had some shirts to navigate through if he wanted to put one on target, but he puts it wide. It'll be a goal kick. First shot of the match for Lexington goes the way of the man from Senegal. Mane just lingering at the edge of the box. You see it is passing between Diouf Brown and then Balogun picked out Mane, edge of the box, his shot going just wide. Bijev got a foot to it, but it'll just roll out of play. Headed out of play, Fuego throw. Where's that Cromwell? Toss it back in. Looks like Mohamed Dabo is playing as the deeper option. The center back pairing alongside Jordan Chavez. And Chavez, the man spraying it forward for Bijev. Great first touch to bring it into his path. What a back heel as well. Victor Falk, who got there first on. Smart did. He put a foot through it. Quickly taken. The left back. Chavez. Cerritos. Trying to find a teammate. He'll win the loose ball back after conceding possession. 
Falk. Cerritos can turn into the box. Alexi Cerritos goes down. Referee, there's appeals. Nothing given. Cleared out of play. Both of these teams, if either of them are to score a penalty, this one would make it the most in league history for penalties scored. Scored eight, both of them entering into today's matchup. No penalty there, though. Home record for Fuego, 2-8-2. Two, and two. Actually, more wins on the road than at home. Three wins and the away record. They've got one win compared to the two for Fuego. So neither team have found their joy in this particular setting. So we'll see if either can begin to take away that trend. It's blocked by Knight, spinning towards goal. It'll be cleaned up, but a bit sloppy from ML Knight, not fully punished. Kalen Fox in support, helping to avoid any major blushes. And here's Robertson trying to maybe carry it forward and check it back. It's always a risky run with the keeper who wants to play with his feet. That pass, of course, a sliding challenge to keep it in play. Tariq Muhammad, what a bit of control there to keep that alive. Voids of con concession of possession in quick sequence. Muhammad. But just to go back, Amal Knight wanting to bait in some pressure and waited a, just a beat too long. On the block by Bijev just didn't quite have enough purchase to get towards goal and it, it spun away from him so he couldn't chase it down. Ten minutes into this one, one solid opportunity for either side. Fuego hit the post off a billion Bijev shot. Into the box. Not the most confident of clearances, but it's knocked away. Threat dealt with, but a corner kick, our first of the match for either team. Tate Robertson will be the man who will go over to take. From his right mid position, he'll have the opportunity with his left-hand sided corner kick. Seven assists on the season, four goals himself. 26 years of age, incredibly Intelligent player, according to Sam Stockley. He'll choose the short one. Whipped in towards the back post. Headed across goal. Cerritos gets ahead to it and nodded away. Smart gets a foot in there. He wants to get it himself. Didn't know if he was offside. Smart whips it in. Headed away. Foul committed. It's cleared by Jay as well, but the foul in the box will make it a Fuego free kick. You can see it again. Smart is whipping into the box. A bit overzealous, just going to the back after the headed clearance away by Lemus. Wins the foul. Don't miss a minute of the action in 2023, whether your club is on the road or at home. Catch nearly every second of USL League One action on ESPN Plus, the home to the USL, La Liga, the Bundesliga, UFC, and more. Sign up today at plus.espn.com. Dabo to Razak Cromwell. Lemus keeps it in play. And went aside a throw as well. Push the back there. Maybe a little unnecessary from Lemus. Wanted to get the ball quickly. Coming over will be Corbin May to have a quick discussion about it. Tariq Muhammad making the appeal that he was just pushed in the back. The referee having some discussion. We'll see it again. Last touch by Muhammad just goes out of play and he kind of gets in the way of the ball and there's a slight push in the back. Bit naughty. Don't believe it's going to boil over to any cards for either player. It will be Lemus to take. Cerritos. Hansen. Intercepted. One back, though. Jay. Whips one low. Cleared away. BJ was on hand, but it's cleared out. 
Herrera Garcia keeps it ticking. Harold Hansen, Jay, back to Hansen. Offsides given. I believe it was Lemus on the far side, the man who was off. And it may have spun kindly in the area, but free kick given after an offside. One win apiece for the two teams in this season series. The first three times these sides have played in both clubs' history. Two to one win for Fuego when they met here on July 15th, August 12th when they made the return trip at Toyota Stadium, Georgetown College. Lexton came out on top that time, three goals to two. That match, it was already 2-0 Lexington at this point. They had two goals within eight minutes. A very strong start to me that was a rarity after talking to Sam Stockley after that one, just getting out of the gates to a very strong start. It's Caitlin Fox is fouled and went aside a free kick. Ball was rolling as it was taken. And that actually may be turned out to be a favor for Tate Robertson. He, Kick that one straight out of play. So the referee going to help keep it with Lexington. Green. Smart, a heavy touch. Invites the press. And he gets a foul. Referee was playing a bit of an advantage, but he fouled Cerritos after the first touch. Referee can have a quick word with Smart. The captain committing the foul, puts a hand up of apology. We'll see it again, just a bit of a lazy touch. You see him just trying to win it back, leaves the foot in on Cerritos. And after the ball was won back by Lexington, the referee realized the advantage was gone. It was a free kick for Fuego. One to chase for BJ, but it will spin out of play. It's been a common go-to, those passes into that left channel. Pavilion BJ to try and chase down. 30 years of age now himself. Hometown of Fresno, California. Well-traveled player, though, had a youth career with Liverpool in England. On loan to Fortuna Dusseldorf at times. With Portland Timbers, too, coming back to the States. Born in Bulgaria, but grew up in Fresno. Now here he is in Fresno, playing for Central Valley Fuego. Carrera Garcia, his pass. He was eyeing forward, just couldn't quite link up with Sharif J. Low pass by Green. Robertson, clever one. A lot of space for Mane. He sees some space for Tariq Muhammad to roam into, and his pass will find him on the left wing. Gets caught under his feet, off to check back to get it. We'll see how that duel continues to progress. Tariq Muhammad and Omar Lemus on the far side. There's a slight push, a little bit of chances of things boiling over. The pass blocked by Bijev. Smart collects the loose one. Being harried by Bijev, who is now twice today, almost getting inside a goal off of blocking an ML Knight pass, blocking the keeper's pass. On that instance, blocking the right back. Smart. Robertson. Back post. The header. What an opener. Lexington on the road. Opening it up. A brilliant ball to the back post by Tate Robertson. A test to you, number 11 on the season. The man on the spot able to just head that one into the ground. We can see it again. Dangerous when you give Tate Robertson this much space. You see him just arc one to the back post. A test to you, not an easy header. But he does excellently to get that into the bottom right corner past Mitch North to open the score for Lexington. Oh, 
Number 11 for a test to you, 23 years of age. Back underway, Fuego. How do they respond to this setback going down at home? It's assist number eight on the year for Tate Robertson. Ball had excellent shape from the moment it left his foot. Carrera Garcia. Smart, his press just too strong. They believe he got the ball, but the referee disagrees. This is just the fifth time this year that Lexington have scored first. One win, a draw, two defeats actually when they've taken the lead in the USL League One match. Rather that static actually just away from home. So the only time they have won away from home this year has come after scoring first. Quite strong when scoring the opening goal. Seven wins, three draws, two defeats on the year. forward. Green, a roaming run forward. His pass to the left. Muhammad, a hefty challenge by Jay. Leaves Muhammad crumpled on the ground. The throw, there's appeals from a test to you that it should have been more. Zerk Muhammad needed a bit of a moment to collect himself. Big tackle there. Zerk Muhammad making his way back to his feet slowly and he is, as he does, as he gets back to his feet, making the case to the referee why that should have been a foul. But he is feeling the effects, certainly. After a media challenge, trainers will be coming on to help attend to him. Just to give the flip side of the score first stats, concede first stats for Fuego on their end. At home, conceding the first goal, they have yet to get a result after conceding the opening goal at home. Seven defeats in the seven times they've conceded first at home. We can see the one that has separated the match so far again. Just nice work from left to right. Don Smart eyeing his right mid in a lot of space. Tate Roberts in one touch to set himself up. The other whip in a beautiful ball. And that's just a textbook header by a test to you. You can see the second he is landing, he can put his head down to celebrate. I think Tariq Muhammad will need to be out of the match for a moment, so he'll be down to 10 for just a brief spell, but he appears to be moving around, ready to come back in. Tossed in. Brown. A foul committed. Tariq Muhammad can come back on. He may be an option on this set piece. Tate Robertson making his way over as well. But Nico Brown winning the foul in a very promising position for Lexington to try and double their lead early here. Bit of a sloppy foul to give away. Brown with his back to goal, two players around him. Just a bit too overzealous in the challenge, and it now is giving them an opportunity in a really promising position. Tough for Mitch North to do much, regardless of who takes this. Robertson, if he whips it in, it'll be curling towards him at a dangerous angle, whether it takes a touch or not. Tariq Muhammad, his left foot could curl it away from him. If he kind of tries to go for it, it might bend out of his path. A lot to think about. Three in the six-yard box, five in the 18 in Lexington. Robertson, saved by North. Saw it all the way, was able to collect. Switch of play, that one goes over Don Smart's head. He gets something to it. Knight coming off his line, dangerous, had to get the ball, and he does. 
Mal Knight doing just enough. You saw that one just rolling away from him. You were wondering if it would be able to get there in time, and he did. Hansen. Mohamed Dabo. Ball plays it back. Nice turn by Falk. Trying one for Jay, and it didn't find him perfectly, but he does get there in the end, stays with it. Rolled again. Big challenge. Smart does enough to get it away. Hansen trying to keep it alive, cleared. Balogun putting his body up against Chavez. Big tussle, and the foul committed. Balogun wins the free kick for his side. Intercepted. Was that a foul though? It was indeed. Lima's got there first, but then edges opponent over the back. And I think there's a lot of frustration there from Fuego thinking that he had won the ball, and he had, but then he bumped, looked to be Brown or Balagoon, I should say, in the back. It's another free kick given. The way of the visitors. Beginning to pile up in that regard. Still no cards dished out by Corbin May through our first 25 minutes. Gonzalez put under a bit of pressure and he'll fire one back to his keeper. Knight trying one long. Headed away by Chavez. Smart. Can pass it down. A test you can turn and play one. Brown, just too heavy for him. A test you might be a bit frustrated with himself. Brown was in a good spot to try and make a run. If the pass was a bit more central, might have picked him out. Great run forward. The challenge put in. Referee gives an advantage and then pulls it back. A foul will be given. Pierre Manet sliding in. A judge to have been illegally bringing down Cerritos. Didn't get enough of the ball for the referee's liking. Was that Cromwell? BJ trying to keep it alive between the legs of the defender. Was that Cromwell? Who did I touch last? Last touched Fuego. It'll be Lexington. Neither side put a major stamp on the ball yet. Both in the about 80% pass success rate. Possession more or less 50-50, a coin toss of who's had it the first 27. Touched down by Balagoon to Brown. Sariq Muhammad taking a very advanced position on the left side. His pass gets to Balogun. His touch drags him out wide. He'll give it back to the man who gave it to him. A test youf, our goal scorer, smart. Green. Clipped forward. Referee gives a foul. Balogun going through the back of Omar Limas. Knocked him over. In possession and an attack definitely resembles more of a 3-5-2 for Lexington. Letting Tariq Muhammad jump up into the midfield. Was that a foul from behind? It was indeed Balogun. Knocking down Hansen. You're seeing Robertson and Muhammad almost operate as wing backs. With Owen Green as a right center back. Say Gonzalez as a left center back. That is kind of how it's described by Sam Stockley a lot of times. 
three at the back. In possession, 4-4-2 four, four, when defending. The shape you can kind of see right now. Mane gets a foot to it. Calm as always, Knight. This pass, though, angled out of play. Pierre Manet can work with a test to youth. One to run for Nico Brown. He'll get there. No one in the box yet to support him. Three now with him. To the byline. Brown was out of play. Last touch by him. His dribble just not able to come off it the way he wanted it to. Quickly taken by Fuego. Jay trying to turn up field. Turn on the Jets. Felt he was being held back. Referee disagrees. Brown to chase. His pass from Gonzalez kicked off his face. And North can gratefully pick it up. He's going to try one long. Bijev, first touch keeps him in contention for it. Couldn't get there on the second, though. Tate Robertson can try and probe it forward. Balagoon. Cerritos, here's Falk, some space to carry into, what a challenge, nope, foul committed. Looked like Diouf got enough of the ball, but referee disagreed. Victor Falk feeling the effects of the challenge from Atez Diouf, the goal scorer, not given leniency from the referee. We'll see it again, try and see if we get a better look at it. Yeah, definitely missed the ball. Looked to be like he got less of it on the second look than he did on the first. That card will be produced for Tez Diouf, first of the match. We had a bit of a tighter leash going forward, but still our goal scorer, who has us at a 1-0 margin currently, got his 11th of the year in the 18th minute. A shake of his head, but Corbin May, our main referee, deciding that the foul was the first to warrant a yellow card of our first half. So we'll see what they do here. Fuego do. They're being able to put a few numbers forward and Falk is standing over it with a bit of an eye forward. Five now on the edge of the 18, six as Cerritos moves forward. Falk. High arcing into the box, Knight claims. Felt he was bumped by Hansen, didn't appreciate it. The referee in discussion with Knight. Won't raise the action any further than that. Taps it down for Diouf. Robertson. Owen Green trying one. It's going to be headed back. Cleverly done by Lemus. Knew that he had Tariq Muhammad, who had a lot of interest over his shoulder. Zach Cromwell. Poor 
pass. Intercepted by Brown. That's Hestiouf. Can fire it back to Brown. He can eye a pass forward. It's dangerous. Khalid Balogun in the box. He was offsides. Robertson always quick to try and get a pass out. Trying to find another forward option. See again, just getting that one forward quickly. Looks tight. Couldn't really tell from that angle if he was offsides or not. Not sure we'll get a definitive one at all. But the referee decided that Balagoon was just about off. Just over 10 minutes plus stoppage time left in our first half. Not a ton of shots for either team. Just the two for Lexington, the one for Fuego. They've all been rather high quality. Sliding in was Mane. Spins for Zach Cromwell. Trying to curl one forward. It's cleared away. BJ hit the post. Pierre Mane put one just over the bar. And a test you've headed it into the back of the net. And those are our three shots through 30 plus minutes. You see those stats on your screen right there. Just the one shot on target, the one goal. A lot of numbers forward. A lot of space for Atez Diouf to roam into. He's got Brown and Balagoon in support. Robertson to his right. Brown can't get his feet right. Trying to do it first time, and that was a good opportunity for Lexington. Seemed a bit rushed considering how much space and time they may have had. Talk about the shots that have been taken. And they immediately take one right after that, but it's been over 30 minutes. Since Fuego last took a shot, they had a great early opportunity from BJ. I thought that that could be a sign of things to come, but since then been quiet in the attacking department. Cerritos. Pass knocked away. Robertson can pass to Green. Diouf, clever drop of the shoulder. Good work under some pressure from Fuego trying to win the ball back. Here's Green. Robertson trying to just put one along the touch line. Blocked away. Just carrying this one forward. Tariq Muhammad. Don Smart covering his center back after he made his foray up the pitch. Into the feet of Diouf. A test Diouf. Balagoon. Can bring in Tariq Muhammad on the left wing. Three in the box. Whipped in, took a deflection. Mitch North wasn't fully sure it was going over. Hustled back, but in the end it did hit the top of the goal. It'll be a corner kick for Lexington. Some live standings bottom left of your screen. These three points bringing them back closer in the picture. Still six points off that sixth place spot. So six points off Greenville, who are on 37 points, but if Lexington are gonna try and get in to the playoffs in their first year, gotta just take putting themselves in the conversation by getting points moving forward. Short corner to Robertson. It's a big deflection. He scored in a very similar way in their draw with Greenville, the short corner. He went direct himself. It was a brilliant finish in the end. That was the first goal in a one-all draw.
Don Smart giving Rain room to roam into. Green's pass is off of Robertson. Bijev get his head up. Think about a switch of play. Sharif Jay was the target of his pass. Jay will do well to try and win it back for his team. Will do just that. Omar Lemus will leave it for Hansen. Pokes it away. Nice bit of interplay. Falk trying to scoop it to Jay. Sharif Jay is touch. Trying to keep it alive in the end. He'll foul his opponent. Trying to contest with Gonzalez. Trying to get around him, keep it in play at the byline. And the end knocked him over. It'll be a free kick. Standings again. It's got Greenville at 37. Knoxville, a big matchup on Saturday. Greenville and Knoxville, they have a head-to-head -head match. If you're Lexington, you're rooting for a draw. Almost mutually assured destruction there. Just neither of them getting the full three points. That's what you're hoping for is just minimum gotten points from the teams ahead of them. Big tackle put in. Cleans as the referee. Mane wins it back. And he can pick out Robertson. Can he pick out a pass himself? Robertson into the area. Takes a deflection. I believe that last touch Fuego will be indeed a corner on the far side. After a challenge put in, we'll see it again as Robertson loves that quick ball into the area. Chavez just getting low across his opponent. Blocks it out. Corner kick again. A lot of these have been short by Robertson on this far side. In discussion with Tariq Muhammad, the left-footed player who can offer some support. This time it'll be Tariq Muhammad, the man, immediately standing over it. Goes short. Robertson whipped into the box. Oh, through everybody. Kalen Fox didn't really attack that, but it may have fallen perfectly for him to try and attack. But he just couldn't quite get out of his duel with his opponent. And in the end, it goes out harmlessly for a goal kick. That was an interesting short corner technique. You had the left-footed Tariq Muhammad angling to take it with his right foot. You almost kind of, everybody in the stadium probably knew that it was going to be a short corner to Robertson. But still, even if you know what's going to happen, a lot of danger with what, what he's capable of doing. Cerritos, Falk, Herrera Garcia back to Falk, Dabo, Cerritos making the run on the overlap, Razak Cromwell low, not fully dealt with, Smart will put a foot through it, gives a corner, a throw I should say. Knocks it out of play. Rara Garcia. Was that Cromwell? Was he fouled? Referee says yes, he was. Getting laid on in this first half, but a big opportunity from this free kick. We'll see what they choose to do here. Way we can put some numbers forward. Victor Falk, the man standing over it. Got two assists this season. Both of them have been to Francois Dulis. He's not in the 18 today, so his usual partner in crime on these set pieces is not available. We'll see if he can get a third and find a new partner. Or Zach Cromwell, he's also standing over it, offering a left-footed option. Six and red in and around the 18. Falk whipped into the back post over everybody. Out for a goal kick.
Can't watch the match? Turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk, including USL All Access on Tuesday nights at 7 Eastern. Plus, hear live match from the USL, MLS, English Premier League, and more, all on Sirius XM FC 157 and the SXM app. Fox forward. Dabo gets a foot in there. North. Have to be careful under a bit of pressure. The three forwards for Lexington making life a bit difficult. Where's that Cromwell? Falk offering some support. They will work their way out of it, and Lexington will retreat. We're in the 45th minute. Less than a minute to go until we get our first half stoppage time. See how much we have left until we break 4.15. Sam Stockley, surely the more happy of the two head coaches. Defensively, they haven't been opened up too much. Fuego haven't. But it was a great opportunity for a test youth that he put home. Clinical, as we describe Lexington so far. With a few opportunities they've been allowed. A two minutes of added time. The minimum added on after this first half. So we'll see what can happen with these two minutes of additional time. Cerritos going to try to take full advantage of it. Alexis Cerritos carrying it forward. His pass. BJ first time. Wide of goal. First shot. It's within five minutes. Both of them now taken by BJ. Pair of shots for Fuego. See it again as Cerritos gets ahead of Don Smart. Head full of steam. His pass to Bijev. Well weighted. It put him in a spot where he could take it first time with his preferred right foot. But Philly and Bijev just couldn't quite shape it towards target. Pulled it wide. We'll see if that's the last shot of our first 45 minutes. As Green hooks it back forward. Brown was the undercut. He was not, it was a foul committed by him, rather. Lemus. Waited for the run from Jay. Drop of the shoulder, Sharif Jay into the 18. Still has Omar Lemus with him. Hansen, Carrera Garcia, top of the box. His pass blocked, vital block by Smart. A bit offset, Lexington were. We'll see if there's one last 4A forward. Less than 30. Where's that Cromwell? Guerrero Garcia's pass over everybody. And Amal Knight will have that roll out harmlessly for a goal kick. Night forward. That will do it for our first 45 minutes. See, a late yellow card has been dished out. We'll get you the full confirmation of who that was. When we come back here at halftime, as things stand after our first 45 minutes of action, though, Lexington on the road, courtesy of a test to you if they hold a 1 0 edge over Central Valley Fuego, trying to carry themselves into a late playoff push this season with three points on the road. A second road win is what they're searching for, Lexington. We got some content from around the league as we round out week 26 of the USL League One. Been a good one so far in Fresno, but at the half currently, Lexington 1, Central Valley Fuego 0. Some halftime content to come for you on ESPN. Plus. Yeah, roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's last What? <laughs> Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What? <laughs>
we all have goals. But let's be honest, most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. Halftime between Central Valley Fuego and Lexington SC. Currently 1-0 in favor of the visitors. But a good one through 45 minutes to round out week 26. We have this match in Fresno. It's been packed, though, all week with Josh Toll. We've got our highlights from Saturday. Josh can show us what we missed out on yesterday. Charlotte Independence and the Chattanooga Red Wolves. Charlotte hosting the Red Wolves in a very rainy second half here. Dane Kelly driving forward just on the edge of the area, plays the ball in. Trey Story and Buyu gets it with a right foot. Nice little tap in for Mbuyu. Then he holds up Clay Dimmick, the injured player for Charlotte Independence Jersey. As Charlotte would get the early 1-0 lead, and they would not be finished yet here. The ball sent into the area, knotted down, and it come right to the foot of Corey Bennett. Corey Bennett, the usual sub, getting a start last night, and he would slot it in for the second goal of the game for Charlotte Independence as they were controlling this game in the rainy weather here. Dane Kelly playing the ball outside. Bennett gets it on the return, and Kelly would be tripped up on the play, and we would go to the spot it would be Corey Pennant looking to get his second goal of the game. And Carlos Avila says not today as he denies Bennett. Big save there to keep this game 2-0. And then after an over an hour long break due to lightning in the area, we would come out and resume play. Dane Kelly over to Luis Alvarez. Alvarez brings it to his right foot, gets it by Avila's third goal of the game for Charlotte Independence as they get the victory 3-0 at home over the Chattanooga Red Wolves. The top team in the league, North Carolina, taking on Greenville on the road. Here you can see the clear push from behind by Greenville. This would lead to a penalty kick for Rafa. And Rafa, he would go left, getting his 11th goal on the season. He is second on the team in scoring. Here, the man that leads the club, Olex Anderson, gets the ball in the pass. He'll work his way down. Anderson, a little step over, gets the end line, and just an easy tap in at the front door for Jaden Cervania. That goal coming 12 minutes later, giving North Carolina the 2-0 victory. It was a battle between 6th and 7th in the standings as Ford Madison, the 6th place team, hosting one Knoxville, and it was a chippy game. It was physical, 11 cards handed out, and total three reds given out in this game. The first right there handed out to one Knoxville's Johnson, and here, a nice little ball in. Knotted down, right to Cheney. Cheney, though, denied by Lewis. Best chance of the evening right there for Ford Madison. Another corner opportunity for the Mingos. This ball played up, and here the elbow comes out from Cheney, and this would lead to another yellow, and oh, you're gonna get a red card as well. So two players in the books there early for both these sides. And then here you have the shoulder check by Cicero, and that would be the third red card of the game in a physical battle that would end nil to nil between these two clubs. So you can see already playoff fever between those two sides as they battle for that final spot. Top six teams make the playoffs here in USL League One play. And then in our final game, Union Omaha looking to make it eight in a row. That's right, eight in a row. O'Doyle here is setting up Pedro de la Bella. De la Bella going up, elevating with the head and getting it by for the opening goal for Union Omaha. The Owls would not be done yet. Here a beautiful ball for to Meza. Meza cutting it back to the top of the 18. And this would be finished off by Luis Hill. His goal would be his first on the year, giving Union Omaha a two to nil lead. The only blemish coming on this own goal here by Schaff Brewer as it goes back in. But Union Omaha gets the win two to one. Stop it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's how I'm going to go to the day where I'm going to go to the 
Roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's left what? Radio. <laughs> Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What? Let's be honest, most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. Yeah, Roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's last What? Radio. <laughs> Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What? <laughs> Halftime between Central Valley Fuego and Lexington SC. Some news and notes from across USL League One. The USL League One family expanding to be a bit bigger. Portland, Maine going to be the next League One franchise. They'll be having their matches at Fitzpatrick Stadium starting in 2025. A big-time transfer involving one of today's teams. Central Valley Fuego moving Ozzy Ramos on to forward Madison. He'll try and help Madison with a late-season playoff push. And Noah Powder, a strong performance against the Independents for the Hailstorm. A goal and a pair of assists has him as the player of the week. A dominant performance for the midfielder, including their winner. Four players from today's match of Alexi Cerritos, Tariq Mohamed, Victor Falk, and Amal Knights all headlining some Fuego and Lexington players some playoff odds as well entering into today's matchups Fuego as well as Lexington real remote you're telling me there's a chance but three points today you got to think they're a necessity if they want to have any late season heroics but Greenville forward Madison and everyone above them look very confident according to the odds makers that they'll be the sides heading to the 2023 USL League One playoffs and the matches that will help determine those teams and their playoff seedings Madison facing off against Richmond on Thursday and a big six pointer on Saturday Knoxville facing off against Green against Greenville should be a good one there the winner of that will have a very strong chance of making it into the playoffs. Lexington next going to be up at home against Charlotte, while Fuego at home against Northern Colorado. Other side of this break, we've got your first half highlights and the second half between Central Valley Fuego and Lexington SC. Don't go anywhere. Go 
those topics. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's talk about today's day where I'm going to go topics. Roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's left what? <laughs> Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. Let's be honest, most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. Back end of halftime here between Central Valley Fuego and Lexington SC. The current score, Lexington with a 1-0 lead on the road in Fresno. Let's look at our first half highlights as we get geared up for the second half. And with some early opportunities, the best one, probably the match coming the way of Villian Bijev drives out of the right foot, hits the post. We're wondering, is this a sign of things to come for Fuego? Just a really nice drop of the shoulder. An experienced vet move, just couldn't quite pull it off. And nearly Bijev coming up with a big moment here, blocking Knight's clearance forward. In the end, dealt with Fox tracking back, able to defend against it had no worries there. Now we're going to see one of the best opportunities fall the way of Lexington. Smart moving out to Tate Robertson. One touch out of his feet, one into the box, and a brilliant header by a test Juve down past Mitch North in the goal for Fuego. Just a brilliant header. Goal number 11 for a test Juve. Able to open the score in the 18th minute. Just kind of help them into a lead they probably deserved in this one. We'll see again here is Philippe Balagoon trying to work their way out to the left-hand side. Tariq Muhammad, a constant threat on the left wing, able to offer some support. This one whipped in would almost be a threat for Mitch North, taking a deflection, able to make sure that one goes over with his leap into the net. Live shots out on the field as the players are back out, preparing themselves for our second 45 minutes. Just five total shots between the two sides, one on target, and that was a shot by the man in the center circle, Ates Diouf. Three shots for Lexington, two for Fuego and obviously the one goal heading the way of Lexington Sporting Club. Two wins in their last five, three in the last six for Lexington. No wins in eight for Central Valley Fuego. Been a tough spell of form for them in a period of transition as a club. And Lexington, Lexington trying to capitalize on the road, get just their second road win as a club. Got a lead to hold on to. We'll see what tweaks they make. But they were creating opportunities, and it seemed like they were sniffing around for a second one. So you imagine not a ton should probably be changed for Sam Stockley. We'll see what Edison Gonzalez will try and do for Fuego. Whistles to the mouth, though, of Corbin May. We're ready to go for our second half. Whistle goes, and in the green, the visitors right to left, the hosts in red, left to right. Charlie Machel coming in for Don Smart. At the half for Lexington, the lone change for them as a test youth striding forward. Early threat from him, score to the first half. 
coming out of the second half with a lot of life. Jack Edwards with you. Delighted as always to be presenting some USL League One action. A lot of fun rounding out the week here. Again, Diouf in the 18th minute. Our lone goal of the match. We'll see if we've got more goals to accompany it. Lexington won't complain if the goal scoring ends there as Balagoon turns towards goal. And Diouf! Oh, nice save. Diving low. Robertson, it'll spin to him. Into the box, cleared away, low. Dealt with there. What a save, Mitch North. Cerritos, brilliant footwork. He's got a lot of space to drive into. Bijev, a lot of green back. He's got two in support with him. What can they do here? Wins a corner. Well done by Villian Bijev. Not a ton of support there. Able to knock that out for a corner. Let's check out that save again. It was a great bit of work by Lexington to make the angle work. Green, Balagoon just sliding one slow to attest to you. Perfectly waited for him to hit it first time. That's a tough save for North to make. It kind of goes through a bit of a crowd. Has to get two paws to it. Knocks it away. Got an El Mexicano corner kick from the far side. We'll see what they can produce from this. Victor Falk, the man to take. Interesting technique here. No one in the six-yard box will have runners in as Falk begins to take. Falk whips it in. Sits up. Cerritos! Exactly what the hosts would have wanted. Fortunate spin. Alexis Cerritos continues his goal-scoring form. Goal number eight for the number 11. They equalize within three minutes of the second half. Might have been a slip in the box that led to the ball just sitting up perfectly for him to take it first time. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Falk whipping it in. Looks to be Balogun who just loses his footing and sits it up perfectly. He pounds the ground in frustration. He knows that that one just couldn't quite get his footing right. And Cerritos may have taken a deflection as well as he shot it. Not much to be done there. First shot on target of the match for Fuego. First goal. Cerritos, number eight. That one kicking the match into a bit of life. We're back even. Mane. Here's Tariq Muhammad. A dream start to the half for Fuego. And you have to give a lot of credit to Villian Bijev. Just winning the corner kick. Wasn't a ton of options in the box. And I'm sure he would have liked to pick one out. But in the end, just winning the corner got them the opportunity. And they were able to be clinical from it. Robertson stays with it. Passes off to Green. To the feet of Charlie Machel. His pass blocked. That might spin kindly for Bijev. First time shot. Ambitious. Knight was off his line. If that's on target... That's a brilliant effort from Bijev. That's what confidence after a goal can give you. Billion Bijev just after his team scoring the first thought, why not have it go? Three goals and three now for Cerritos after getting the one to start this second half of action. And Lexington surely frustrated with that because defensively they've been very strong in this one. You saw in the halftime highlights, Millian Bijev with an early first half shot that just hit the post. But there weren't a ton of other options or chances really beyond that one. And defensively they've been quite strong throughout. They've conceded. Clean sheet is gone, and they're attacking again, Fuego are. Jay gets a foot in. Victor Falk has to run and track that one down. The smoke still dissipating after the goal. 1-2. Cerritos, was he fouled? The referee says no. Hansen. Pass way too strong. Out for a throw. Field. 
Cerritos. After that challenge, moving a little slowly. Referee offering him some time to collect himself. Let's see it again. Coming together, the one-two is tried here, puts a foot in, and it looks like it got stepped on by Machel. Painful one to deal with, but he's back moving around. Tariq Muhammad forward, Brown trying to nod it down for a test to Youf. Pierre Monet gets there first. Was he bumped from behind? Referee says he was. was attempted, trying to pick out a Tez you Blocked though, vital header. Hansen, one to chase. Big challenge by Seja Gonzalez, gets there first and he can power this one forward. Try and turn it into an attack. Diouf is passed just too heavy though. Carrera Garcia. Rizat Cromwell. Intercepted, Sharif J. Out wide, Victor Falk. Can he get his head up for an option? He'll try one at goal, saved by Knight. Gonzalez gets a foot to it. Was he fouled by Falk? He was. That'll get rid of the pressure. ML Knight for the first time this match, saving a shot, keeping that one away. Let's see it again. Falk is shot. You'd expect Knight to make the save, but Force into action regardless. Hansen gets a foot to it. It's a head to it. Cerritos nodding it out wide. Big coming together, the foul committed by Duf. He has to be careful, he's on a yellow card. And also, we didn't fully dive into it, but it was Nico Brown who was booked for descent at the back end of that first half. So it's Nico Brown and a test Duf pair of forwards with yellow cards as Lemus carries it forward for Fuego. The back post. Knight will leave it. Let it go out for a goal kick. A test to youth with his first half goal off of a Tate Robertson feed, then canceled out by a goal 30 minutes later of game time. On the other side of halftime, Lexis Cerritos in the 48th minute has made it one all. Within Seven minutes, so the 50, 50, there was a shot in the 52nd minute from Fuego. They had three of them within that time frame, more than they had the entire first half, up to five shots now. Came out of halftime with a bit more life, a bit more impetus to go forward as it's played into the channel. BJ trying to carry it. under a lot of pressure. It's taken off his foot. Carrera Garcia trying to thread the needle. A clever kick by Green, just knocks it off of Bijev. There will be a goal kick.
Mitchell, a lot of space for him to pick a pass. He gets it to Robertson. A switch of play, Lemus gets ahead to it, but it still finds the Tez Diouf. He was offsides, though. Flag went up from the assistant referee on the far side of the field. Tez Diouf offside, free kick given for Fuego. Wins it back. It's Robertson. Green. Owen Green carrying it forward. Pokes a pass. It's cleared away. Mane is touches heavy and Bijev wins it back. Cerritos trying to give it back to Bijev. Flag stays down. Villian Bijev. Again, wins a corner kick. We've seen this story before. Villian Bijev carrying it forward on the break. Wins a corner kick. Victor Falk takes. It led to the first goal of the match in the second half for Fuego. We'll see if it's a similar storyline here. Fuego not tossing massive amount of numbers forward. So this is probably the best thing they can do off of those breaks. If they don't have a clear shot, clear sight of goal, get a set piece, get an opportunity to put some numbers forward and force Lexington to sit back as Falk wants as much space as he can to try and take this one. Apologies for a brief blip of technical difficulties there. Corner taken, the shot from distance from Cromwell. It's off target. Didn't miss any goals, any major instances. The corner was taken by Fuego. It'll be a goal kick now for Lexington after that brief technical pause. We appreciate you sticking with us here in Fresno. It is Lexington who have it back again. Hansen. Falk. Where's that Cromwell? The one, two. Falk to keep it in. He does. Towing the byline. Carrera Garcia. Can he get the ball under control? Spinning. Brilliant challenge. Tariq Muhammad trying to spin this one out. Brown will continue the press, but it's passed back to North. Relent. And Chavez has it uncontested. The run was there for Falk, but I think there was on different wavelengths. Carrera Garcia and Falk. An apologetic hand was put up by Victor Falk after he didn't make the darting run forward. Brown. Turns up field, eluded the defenders, wins the foul. Balagoon may have hit a hand. 
May have been a foul. And results the same. It's a free kick for Fuego. Falk trying to pick out Razak Cromwell after he made a darting run forward, but Robertson can win it back. Trying one down the touchline. It's brilliantly done. Nico Brown, he's got Balogun in the box to Balogun over the goal. Kicking the sponsor there, just frustrated that he couldn't put that one on target. It was tall for him, tough to shape that one on target. A brilliant chance for Lexington, just off. We'll see it again as... Robertson and Brown, just a really clever pass and a run. The shot by Balagoon just over the goal. He knew the opportunity that he had there. Challenge. Off the camera there, leaving Cerritos in a pile. Yellow card has been distributed. Charlie Machel, the man who's booked for that one. Third Lexington player to enter the referee's pocket. Joined the Tez Diouf and Nico Brown. Just looking ahead for these two teams. Five matches to play for Lexington after this one. Six for Fuego. Tough ones for both of them in their immediate next one. Both sides playing at home. It'll be Northern Colorado for Fuego. Well, it'll be Lexington taking on Charlotte Independence. Confirmation of Mage will be the man who received the yellow card for the challenge. Jay brings it into control. Sharif Jay, one on one with Muhammad. Mane in support, able to carry it out. Trying to scoop one away to Robertson. Green. Paris Stubbs being prepared for Central Valley Fuego. Zahir Vasquez and Maximus Eck, excuse me, are preparing to come on. Brown, the targets. Flag goes up. He was offside when he made the run. Subs now for Fuego. You can see Vasquez and Eck both standing there. Harold Hansen, as well as Sharif J, the two who will make the departure, like for like. Vasquez has come on to the middle of the park. The youngster, Maximus Eck, We'll be coming on up front. Youngest player in league history with two goals. Maximus Eck trying to come on to be a super sub in this one. He scored the opener against Lexington when they beat them here on July 15th. That was when they were down a man. Carrera Garcia had been sent off in the 35th minute. Eck still scoring in the 48th. Chavez would add another in the 57th. And Atez Diouf would get a consolation goal in the 62nd minute. Wouldn't be enough in the end. Eck would love to make it a similar storyline. A goal to take the lead at home against Lexington. Try and help his side win the season series against the first-year club. It's going to spin back to north. Has to play it first time. Green intercepted it, but it can be thrown in quickly. Eck immediately getting involved in things. That one over the top. Dangerous. 
Fuego with numbers forward. It's cleared away. Still alive. Carrera Garcia. Bijev. Blocked. And now one for Brown to potentially sprint forward with. Nico Brown. He had a Tez Diouf and Khalid Balogun with him. Facing up with his defender. Brown goes down to the box. Referee points to the spot. Frustration for Fuego. But brilliance from Brown to carry that one all himself from almost the edge of his own 18. Brought down in the opponent's 18 and a chance from the spot. When you go across a defender like that, Chavez booked for the challenge, raising the arm. You wonder, was it enough? But there certainly was contact, and he let the referee make the call, and he made the call. That devastates Fuego. So Don Smart, the guy who has six penalties on the year, not on the pitch, could have broken the single-season record for penalties scored, but it's Tez Diouf. He can put them in himself. Diouf took the lead once, a chance from the spot to do it twice. Seal parry it. Atez Diouf twice on the road. Number 12 now, and they take the lead again. And a single season record for penalty scored. We'll see it again. The penalty conceded. Again, Chavez is going to cross Brown. Looking at that more and more, does seem like the right call, and Diouf just kept his composure, put that one away in the bottom right corner. There may have been some extracurriculars after the goal was scored. In the end, though, it's a goal. It has to you for his second of the match, his 12th of the season. He's having a great year. Pushing himself right up there to the top of the charts, goal scoring wise. And it's a big one. They're going to need three points today. You imagine any scenario in which Lexington gets into the playoffs, it starts with three points today. Anything else may be asking too much too late on in the season. They play forward Madison and Greenville in their next five, both of the teams who are the most catchable of the teams in playoff spots. Rolled back in, Bijev. They equalized once in the second half. Can they do it twice? Bijev trying to work his way through, but taken off of him by Charlie Machel. Robertson. Robertson can just drive this one. Dabo knocks it out. Corner kick. Just for the playoff picture for Lexington, it's not in their hands outright. But those head-to-head -head matchups against Greenville and forward Madison, both of them on the road. And that Greenville won the final match of the year. They win enough matches in these next... Should they win today, the next four? They could put themselves in the discussion based on how results elsewhere will go. But focus has to be primarily on Fresno, where they're playing Fuego. <laughs> Muhammad whips it in. Doesn't beat the first man. That one plunked out for a goal kick. Vasquez, first time saying his name since he's come on the pitch. His pass a bit under hit for Lemus. Trying to win it back on the press. Let's clip to Balogun.
Cabrera Garcia. A nutmeg on Brown. Picks out Falk. Ooh. Rosette Cromwell drops the defender. Drives it forward. Maximus Eck. Back to him. At, towards the byline. It's cleared away. It'll sit up, stay in play. Tate Robertson can get to it. Eck, though, energetic off the bench. Tracks back, knocks it out. Throw for Lexington. Balagoon trying to pass one forward to Brown. Cerritos. Clipped in behind. Carrera Garcia one-on-one, -on -one, passes it down. Offsides though, cleared away, defended in the end. But offsides had been given. Carrera Garcia, he looked offsides when it was played and the referee confirming that choice. Gets there. It was nodded back to him. A shovel pass out. We'll see what changes are still in store for both head coaches. As one pursues, one tries to prevent. Lemus. Duf has to leave him. He's on a yellow card. Vasquez. To the right. His cross blocked. Tariq Muhammad getting in front of it. At the concession of a corner kick. And El Mexicano corner kick. They scored their first in the taking of one earlier in this half. Does Victor Falk will put it in? Falk into the area. High header looping. Headed out, Falk, driving. Who did that touch last? Looked to be Falk, is indeed, it's a goal kick. National Suicide Prevention Week is September 10th through September 16th to support the mental health of our communities. The USL has partnered with the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Need support? Call or text 988 now. You are not alone. One back, Dabo. Angel Ruelas coming on now for the hosts. Another sub being made by Edison Gonzalez. See him coming on. You can see him coming on for Omar Lemus. Just on paper, a forward for a defender. Attack-minded sub, Ruelas. 21 years of age, making his fourth sub appearance of the season. Balagoon. Machel goes over. He was fouled. A bit of a delayed call, but referee agrees that Machel was bumped over. And we'll see what they do here. You can see some center backs beginning to range forward. They may try and toss some options in and see what Tate Robertson and Tariq Muhammad can cook up. When Lexington won the second meeting between these sides. It was a 3-1 match. Don Smart scored a penalty to make it 
the insurance goal because they did get to two goals. They've scored four goals, two goals in both of their meetings Fuego have against Lexington. So Lexington would surely love a third to just offer a bit of extra space away from an equalizer. Robertson to whip it in, headed away. Poor by his standards. Machel heads it back. One back, well done by Lexington. Into the channel. Looks to be Fox to chase it down. Checks it back. His pass, though, out of play. The numbers will all get back for Lexington defensively. forward. Cerritos trying to chase it down. Fox gets there first. He can clear it forward. It's a strong clearance. It was in the area of Brown. He could have contested. Finds Eck. Bijev. Big tackle by Mane. Atez Diouf. He's got two on the day. He's on a hat trick. Balogun. Hits the referee with that one. Even though it may have only found a Fuego player, I think that was the case that Falk is making. Hit the referee square in the hip, so it will be going back, I believe, to Lexington. We'll see it again. If he's aiming for the, re if he's aiming for the referee, great pass. Knight. Vasquez. Razak Cromwell. Over 10 minutes plus stoppage time. Let's try and find a second equalizer of the match. Two from Diouf, one from Cerritos are our goals so far. Diouf outnumbering his opponents. Big challenge by Balogun. Brown trying to win the loose one, but it's one back by Falk. They've made very attack-minded subs. Fuego have, trying to find a result. Cerritos, his pass off. They will find Bijev. Villian Bijev, was he fouled? He was. A very dangerous free kick. See it again, just as gets across his opponents, winning the foul. I just went quick behind the video of that. It will be a goal kick in the end. I think a bit of confusion there as Atezdiouf was still on the ground. Let's check that out. Show it to you. Just absolute chaos that that was allowed to be played and Vazquez is shot over catching everybody by surprise hey it worked we got a decent look in the box Balogun gets across it. Balogun fouled. He's six foot four, but there's a certain element of grace to his game. Very capable as a dribbler. You can see Soso Kim is being prepared to be brought on for Lexington, getting his final instructions. As 
Sam Stockley and his staff surely to bring on some players to see out the results. Fresh legs, try and help burn off the remaining time we have in this one. Clipped forward, flag up. Brown is offsides. Vasquez falls to him. Falk been playing more centrally since the subs have been made. Dabo, Chavez, Carrera Garcia was pressed. Carrera Garcia, Vasquez. Do you tracking back? Got a foot in, but it's going to bounce. Find a red shirt. Carrera Garcia. Rizak Cromwell. He's got Eck. He'll go more centrally. Bijev. Cerritos. Falk. Takes a deflection. Out for a corner. Victor Falk to take. Whips it in. An open header. Chavez had to try and leap for it. Clever back heel. Vasquez. Try to find the recent sub, Ruelas, but he commits the foul, trying to get it. The foul will allow a substitution to come in now. A test to you coming off. So, so, Kim. 28-year-old coming on for his 24th appearance of the season. Diouf off. Let's see his goals. He got two of them, both for Lexington. One a brilliant header, another a composed penalty. His day is done. He'll hope that his two goals are enough for his side to see out the three points, head home with just a second road win of the season. to Vasquez. Falk fouled. Corbin May just making sure that has a quick chat with Khalid Balogun. And yellow card will be produced for Balagoon. We'll see it again. It was a pretty heavy challenge. Kind of kicking into the back of Falk. Referee took a bit of time to think about it, but in the end did decide produce, to produce the yellow card for the Lexington man. Dabo. Dabo. Bijev quite deep, picking it up. 
Bijev making the run forward. Can he get there? Getting across to Seha Gonzalez. Bijev will get it though. Diligent. It's put in, knocked out, throw. He has enough for his side, they win the ball. We a pause, another sub can happen now for Lexington. I believe it's their third and final window to make a sub. Pilo Chlamani is going to be coming on for Pierre Manet. He'll immediately have to get into the box defensively. He'll have very little time to get acclimated to the match. He'll have to quickly get up to speed. Cerritos. Fouled. Got past Machel. Machel on a yellow. The referee doesn't appear to be drawing out a second one. But this is dangerous. Three minutes plus stoppage time. Not sure how many more chances Fuego will get to just put one into the box. Flamini making sure that his teammates are aware of Bijev who at the present, he's in a lot of space, unmarked, and now he'll be joining the bigger group of players. They conceded a 98th minute equalizer against Greenville. A heartbreaker there. Have to defend this, Falk whips it in, headed away, powerful header by Fox. Corner kick. One set piece to another. Victor Falk to take again. Whipped in. Again cleared by Fox. Falk. Ruelas trying to stay with it. But Fox is going to put a foot through it. All the way back to the posing keeper. It's anywhere but their own box time for Lexington. Just try and clear it away. Cerritos. Tall header by Eck. He nodded it down, but only found Flamini. And he found a foul in the middle of the park. Ruelas knocking him down. And they'll take every second they can to burn off the clock. Nine shots for Fuego to the seven for Lexington. The quality though, vastly different. 1.8 XG for Lexington, 0.4 for Fuego. Clearance blocked initially, Maximus Eck. Cerritos, strong use of the body against his opposite number 11. Trying to switch play, he'll do it successfully. Low into the box. Eck was around. Falk gets it in front of him. But Soso wins it back. Soso Kim. Foul. A bit of a lazy one by Cerritos into Machel. That'll allow pressure to dissipate for Lexington. Time to burn. Mal Knight is well off his line. I think he wants to take this one. <laughs> He's just going to roam back into goal. Four minutes of added time. Will there be one more opportunity for Fuego to try and steal a point? Oh, great work by Balogun just to stay with it and win the foul. Textbook workers are forward late in the match. Just use your body. Win it high up the field. Burn time. Burn time by winning the foul and then I'm sure there is some effect of injury, of cramp. But he'll take every second he can on the ground. We'll see it again. Just great work from him. 
of the chest, just get in front of it. And even when he's falling to the ground, just keep the ball moving ahead of him. In the end, a bit of a kick out by Mohamed Dabo with a foul that in the end got it over the line. It's the value of a forward who could do that. Because just like that, we're almost to the first minute of stoppage time. Tariq Muhammad made it like he seemed like he was going to try and kick, kick it in the box, but then he'll hold it out in the corner. Last touched him. Rizat Cromwell. His side needs something. Well, that pass almost picked out Eck, but in the end, angles out. Josh Heed can come on now. He'll be coming on for Khalid Balogun, his foul that he won, his last contribution. The young forward from Owensboro, Kentucky. 17 years of age, made his debut last time out. Oh, may have thrown a hand there. Referee is going to blow him for an early free kick. Six foot two. So a lot of growing in his future both in stature and in skill. I hope that he can continue his development after coming over from the FC Cincinnati Academy in the MLS Next Pro. Where's that Cromwell? It sits up. Falk, what a save by Knight, but it'll be there on the rebound. Fuego late on. Another equalizer. Angel Ruelas. Makes it to all. It's his first for Fuego. And what a time to get it. Just in the right spot again. Heartbreak for Lexington. Twice now. Loose ball rebounds have just sat up poorly for them. That one after a brilliant save by Amal Knight. Nothing can be done about that one. And Ruelas makes the home crowd very happy. One minute left. We're going to see one last twist in the tail, but that might be the final chapter of this one. Ruelas, his first of the year, the equalizer. Flamini gets ahead to it. So so Kim was trying to chase it down. It's. Knocked away, Fox can put a foot through it. We'll see how much more additional time over the added we might get based on the goal celebrations. Head. Cerritos, could they go get a winner here? Foul committed. Maybe a chance to launch it forward one last time. Carrera Garcia, Bijev, back to him. We've had the four. Falk. Blocked out. Ball in by Falk. This match on a timer. Eck to the byline, stands it up, the header! Saved by Knights, the referee puts his whistle to his mouth, that's the last of this match. Heartbreak for Lexington, two points lost at the death, one gain for Fuego. It's that man there, the number 34, Angel Ruelas. Your American business machines, man of the match, coming off the bench for his fourth appearance for Fuego and gets his first goal, and what a time to get it, what a moment to get it. Amal Knight did so well with the first save, but couldn't quite keep out the second try. We can look now at our play of the match. This one's sitting up perfectly. What else could it be than the late equalizer? A 93rd minute goal to make it two all. Ruelas in the right spot. American Business Machines bringing you that one. And our save of the match, trying to keep things closer. In the end, an important one. Mitch North getting to his left 
parrying it away, able to keep things at a one goal game. And in the end, his side rewarded him and made things two all. A point apiece for the two sides after this one, two to two between Central Valley Fuego and Lexington SC. We can look at our highlights from this one before we get you out of here on ESPN Plus. Fuego, Lexington, it was a thriller. Here we're gonna have an early opportunity in the 18th minute. Well worked from left to right. Smart's gonna find Tate Robertson and he's dangerous in these spots. Whips it in and finds a man who's been in great form. Atez Diouf heads that one across goal and into the back of the net. Makes it 1-0 in the 18th minute. Just an incredibly composed header to climb and nod that one into the back of the net. Then second half, whipped in Victor Falk, a slip from Khalid Balogun capitalized on by Alexis Cerritos, volleys at home and makes it one all. A bit of fortune there, no fortune with the finish. It was a brilliant one with his left foot. Now we're gonna jump forward a little bit further into this one. Played now to the right-hand side, Victor Falk getting it to the right foot, well saved by Amal Knight. There were chances for both teams, especially Fuego, who really grew into this one. Played into the channel for Nico Brown. His one across the box. Balogun heading it just over the bar. Then the big moment. Fouled in the box. Jordan Chavez bringing down Nico Brown. Penalty given. Penalty scored. Atez Diouf made it 2-1. to one. Again, he takes the lead in this one. Then now, Rizat Cromwell just going to whip one forward. It does manage to find Falk. And the shot on the rebound by Angel Ruelas finds the back of the net and made things two to two in the 93rd minute. Your full-time stats after this one. The shots, the possession, swinging in favor of the host, and they'll feel vindicated that in the end, they got a point to take from this one. Lexington losing two at the death. It finishes two goals to two. The standings after this one, not much help for Lexington. They get one point there. Still a little bit of a ways off of the playoff spots, and Fuego moved to 20 points now on the season. What a match it was from Fresno State Soccer Stadium. It's been a pleasure to bring it to you. Up next for these sides, Fuego at home against Northern Colorado Hailstorm. Lexington up next at home against Charlotte Independence. They try a late playoff push. Been a pleasure to bring this one to you. For myself, Jack Edwards, and our entire production crew, that's going to do it for our production of this one. The final score from this one from Fresno, California. Sancho Valley Fuego 2, Lexington Sporting Club 2. Final for ESPN+. Plus. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League, League One, cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League, League One.